services that work with IM. This section covers the developer tool services, security, identity and compliance services, machine learning services that works with IM and demonstrate how to implement IM with those services in an actual use case scenario. Demonstrate how to implement IM with those services in an actual use case scenario. In this video, we will learn about AWS Cloud9. Like other services, AWS Cloud9 requires access credentials that should have the ability to create, share, or delete an AWS Cloud9 environment. There are three predefined managed policies for AWS Cloud9 that enables you to do the function you need in an AWS Cloud, whether it is to oversee, to contribute, or to audit AWS Cloud9 development environment. There are three predefined managed policies for AWS Cloud9 that enables you to do the function you need in an AWS Cloud, whether it is to oversee, to contribute, or audit AWS Cloud9 development environment. Now we will have a short demo about AWS Cloud9. Focus and learn. Okay, so what we're going to do now for this demo, I will show you the three manage predefined policies for AWS Cloud9. First off is AWS Cloud9 Administrator. So it enables you to all the actions possible in AWS Cloud9 and all the necessary permission for the other services that is required to work with AWS Cloud9 such as IAM and EC2. Please note that you only have full access to Cloud9 on this policy not on the other two services. Okay, we're gonna go to IM. Okay, wait for it. And then we go to policy. On the policy, we're gonna search for Cloud9. So we're gonna choose Cloud9 Administrator. Okay, as you can see here, there is Cloud9 here. Okay, so if you scroll down, so this will give you the capability for the Cloud9 to allow all necessary actions, and then the effect will allow you to create a service link role as well. And then this policy will give the capability for the user to use the Cloud9 Amazon AWS.com, all the resources and the actions will be enabled. So for the Cloud9 administrator, now we're gonna choose the AWS Cloud9 user on the policy. So with this one, AWS Cloud9 user, which allows you to contribute to the existing AWS Cloud9 environment, you were given access to which is specified in the resource field. So we're gonna examine the AWS Cloud9 user. So with this one, the Cloud9 the Cloud9 user policy will have the capability to validate the environment name, update the user settings, get user settings, or view it, get user, what else? Can see the, the complete list users, can create a VPC, and as well as it can manage a subnet. So also, this policy can give the Cloud9 user the capability to create an environment EC2 and also environment SSH. Okay, so that's how it is. And then the effect, it can also, the cloud can get or view the public key as well there. So, and also the user can have the capability to describe the environment membership as well. And the user have the user ARN will be enabled and the environment ID can be enabled as well. So next is the user can also do the um, create service link role and use the um, Cloud9 Amazon uh, AWS.com service as well. Next would be the Cloud9 okay, environment member. So last is the 
AWS Cloud9 environment member, which allows you to have a view access to the AWS Cloud9 environment, you were given privilege to. So with this one, a limited um, view, it can get user settings, view it, update user setting as well, get user, get the list, complete list of the list users, and then the resource all, and then the effect would be it can describe or create environment membership. And then also it enables user ARN and then environment ID. So that's how how, uh, how limited it is when you do the um, choose the cloud environment member. So that ends our uh, demo for this one. Thank you.